Project Cancun is a non-profit group. They help restore the Able Tasman National Park and they have lots of students from different schools come and help them and it's great, like you get so many opportunities. I've been just down here doing a marine litter survey. We haven't found much plastic, which is really good. The adopter section has got six schools across the park and they come out and use the park for all aspects of learning, any type of curriculum. So we're seeing real ownership of the schools at each of their sections and I think it's just going to flourish and grow as the years go on. Every school is totally different, all the kids are different, but they all have one thing in common and that is their face lights up when they come out here into nature. It's just such a great way to learn about practical ways to look after nature and to learn about the world around us and to do maths, to do art, to do science and make a difference and then take that back into school as well and then pass that knowledge on. So this is Anchorage and it's actually Motueka High School's adopted section. So this whole beachfront here actually used to be all gorse, but it's actually a really bad fire hazard. So we removed all of that and replaced it with dunes with native plants instead. We wouldn't be able to do this without Sea Shuttle. Um, for the last 10 years, numerous students have come in um, to the park thanks to them. We are a locally owned and operated business. You know, we are part of the community, so it's just our way of getting involved. I just want to say thank you to all the volunteers, the school children that we bring in. I'm from Golden Bay High School, and this is Hadfield's Clearing, our adopted section. Each school can plan plantings and pest control, whatever they want to do really. These are kakatea trees. I like helping the environment and planting, planting trees and doing lots of outdoor things. The children get really excited about it, they get to know about their own area, they take their families there. It's fantastic, it's awesome. This um, kakatea helps the native animals and some of them dig the berries. <laughs> Being an Able Tasman Youth Ambassador is amazing. Like, you get to meet so many new people and you learn lots along the way as well. Being an Able Tasman Youth Ambassador, they get to come in and connect with the park. But the other aspect is about upskilling them. So Doc and Project Ian Zoom play a really big role bringing their experts in. And those kids get to work side by side with those experts and learn about what actually does conservation mean. A couple of years ago, the Youth Ambassadors got to see some kaka get released. It's real cool to get this opportunity. It's pretty cool that they've been able to like introduce these species back to the coastline. We've actually had to cap the program to three years because students wanted to come back year after year after year. They start off by connecting to the place and then we see them go ahead as leaders and so we just see so much growth in that three year time frame that they become walking, talking ecologists in the park themselves. Project Janzoon is a long term vision for the park and we know the youth of today are the people who are going to be looking after it then. The education program is my favourite part of this project. Seeing these kids connecting to this place. I've learned how to do surveys, I've learned how to make traps, I've learned how to make bug homes. When I go away on eight year retreats or I spend time with these kids today, I feel positive about our future. These kids know the passion they have and their ideas that they have, that our future is secure here, that they will carry that knowledge on. Being part of eight years has actually been one of the best choices I've ever made, personally. It's helped me grow as a leader and I've become a lot more confident. I would like to see like my kids getting involved in this sort of thing. These kids are going to be the future leaders of New Zealand and they're going to be the spokespeople of the Able Tasman National Park.